Today I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my backpack. So yeah, I don't really know what to say. So yeah, let's get right into it. So this is my book bag. And I got this from Walmart. And it was $4. And I do not go to public school. I go, I am homeschooled. But I like to keep everything in my backpack. Like, in a backpack. So, when I go around the house, like, oh, I want to do it in the living room. But then I decided to do it, um, like, my my school in the living room. But then I decide to do it in the kitchen table. I pack everything up in my book bag and go in the kitchen. So, I don't, everything's, like, not in the living room, the kitchen, up in my room and everything. So, yeah. Um, so, this was for $4 at Walmart. So, if you guys... If you, most people have already started school. I start the day after Labor Day. So, um, but if you start a little later and you still need to go back to school shopping, get, go to your local grocery store and get $4. This is $4 and this is a really good deal for a book bag. Also, if you guys know, if you guys want to know what's happened here, um, it's nail polish. I was trying to wipe it off with a paper towel, but it didn't really work out. So, yeah. It's not blood. It's paint. So, yeah. And I really like this design, but I want to tell you guys something about this. This is from Justice. So, if you download the app, if you guys have a local Justice, and download the app, you get a free puff ball that says Live Justice on it. Like, it had, like, a little heart keychain on it with it. But I haven't had this for a very long and I already broke off. So yeah, I just have a pink little pop bomb. So yeah, I, I don't know where to put it on, so I just put it on my backpack. So let's get right into these two, there's, okay, hold on. These are two compartments, and then there's a huge thing right here. So I'll tell you where I got it from, so yeah. Um, let's start in here. Ugh. Okay. So, this is a pretty deep. It's pretty deep and it looks very small. Like, it looks like it stops from here, but it goes all the way down. So, yeah, this is what I carry in it pencils, pens, and markers. I will show you more specific. I got two dry erase markers I got from Walmart. So. If you guys have a dry erase board and you don't have any markers, these were like, I got a pack for like $2. And there was 20 in a pack, so that's pretty good. And then I got mechanical pencils. And I like, hold on. So, I like all these colors. So, there's fun colors like orange, pink, green, and stuff. If you guys want to know a pet peeve of mine, when we go back to school shopping, I do not like like to have everybody with mine. I like mine separated and have my own little area for all my school stuff. I don't like mine with my brother. So, I kind of split everybody's. So, I got some mechanical pencils. And this will probably last me a couple months. And if I need more, I can go... Get some more. Not steal some because it's not stealing. But um, I can go get more of these mechanical pencils and put them back in my bed. I got three of these from my fair. So I will read them off to you guys. This is a construction one. This is a electrician one. And this is other electrician one. And the question of the day, guys, do you like... Mechanical pencils are like regular ones that you have to sharpen. So I like the regular ones you have to sharpen. But I also like the mechanical pencils. But if I had to pick one, I would have to pick the regular ones. So comment down below what one you guys like. The mechanical pencils or the regular pencils. Um, And I also got these. So these are actually from the Target spot. You know, the dollar section. And I love to go in there, just kind of look around, see what they got. Um, But I found these really cute pens. And this is for my planner. But these two pens. So here's like a blue one. It's pretty cute. These two for a dollar. That was like, wow. So, 
pretty. And I use them for my planner. Then I have these old scissors. They don't literally cut anything. But I like to keep them in here just in case if I need to have something that I can like usual like easily exit like easily get to but we have another like family scissors but yeah so on to the next compartment all right now to the next pocket i only had two things in here so i'm gonna explain what these are so i got these from the dollar store so if you guys still haven't gone back to school shopping like i said go to the dollar store they have pens pencils sharpeners notebooks folders planners they have like if your kid is in like preschool they have like how to learn to write addition cards subtraction subtract subtract color i don't know how to say this subtraction cards i have the division cards the only reason i got them is because i kind of forgot how to do division so this is kind of refresher if i forget so i got these from the dollar store and yeah um, yeah, and I got this calculator from the Walmart, and this was also a dollar, so it's really mini and easy to use. So we're going to put these back in here, and now let's go into the big compartment. I quick wanted to show you guys, like, how big the compartment was, so you can fit all your school books in. Yeah, so now I'm going to lay all the stuff on the ground so you guys I can easily, like, I don't know, like, show you all of them, so, yeah. So, I got everything lined up, and we're going to start from here, go down. So, I get this, this is from Walmart, most of this stuff is from Walmart. I got this from Walmart, it's a big, huge folder, and this was only, like, 97 cents. So, it's a big, huge folder, and I can put, like, all, like, my, if I have, like, little, like, pages that I have to, like, because sometimes they give you, like, these little papers that you have to, do you have to print them out, and then, like, do, like, if it's math, you have to do math problems on it, and then your mom gets degraded, so then I'll probably put them in here. And then I got this purple notebook, and I what I really like about these notebooks is you guys can't probably see it, but they're see-through. I don't think this one is see-through, um, but they're a little bit see-through, but I got a purple one, and then I got a mint blue one. You guys can see those little mini lines. And it's like a very um, weird fabric. And then, so these two are from Walmart too. And then I got these prong paper folders. And these are really nice. They were also like, since they're a little bit like high quality, they were like a dollar a piece. But they're very good. Um, but I would totally recommend, I got this from Walmart, but I got a mint blue one. And it's really nice. So, yeah. And then I got a yellow one. And you guys can see the lines through this one a lot better. So, there are see-throughs. So, there's a yellow one. And then I got a black prong um, folder also. Hi. So, yeah. So, next is those two last things. And that's also from Walmart. These two things are from the dollar store. So, yeah. I got this, and this is, oops, I have to cover up my last name. This is my space, um, school schedule, and I got this from the dollar store, so it's really nice. Um, I have to cover this up because it has my address on it, but it says your name, and then you have to put address, the class, and school. So then I have my school schedule, I have... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I have two mats on each day. So this is really nice. And those are those two fancy pens. So that's this my planner. And then I have this. I got this from the dollar store. Also, this from the dollar store too. So it's a USA President Wall map. And this is what it looks like. 
And um, I don't do a lot. Like, I do reading in history and social studies. But I don't do, like, any, like, paperwork. So I was thinking when I do history, I could write a story about every single president in here. Um, but every single day when I have history, I can write a story about these. So, like, tell you, like, fact, a president and stuff. So, yeah. Um, that's all that's in my backpack. But I have a question for you guys. If you know where to find a cursive handwriting book, like how to learn cursive handwriting book, and a United States America map, because if I learn, like, like the United States of America, I can, like, Oh, it's right by Africa or something. So, yeah, comment down below where to find that. And the question of the day is, do you have mechanical pencils or regular pencils? So, yeah, please subscribe, like, and share. Bye.